You believe I'm saying this, but we have finally ended racism. This disgusting prejudice no longer exists on this planet. Let's all give a round of applause to Fortnite for being able to end this disgusting practice. <laughs> Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., I, you, you, get the fuck out of here. What good are you two if Fortnite did what you could not? You're probably asking yourself, how did Fortnite end the entirety of racism? The geniuses behind Epic Games were able to implement a, a well thought out three step plan. Let us talk about the first step. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. It's very apparent that Epic Games took inspiration from this genius of a man. The first step? Getting rid of police cars within the game of Fortnite. All right, canceling police movies, shows, cartoons, and now, in the case of Fortnite, a popular game that features police and police cars. Jackie DeAngelo says more on that. Jackie, what's going on here? Good afternoon to you, Neil. Well, that's right. Epic Games was the developer of that very wildly popular game, Fortnite. And what the maker of the game has done is remove all police cars from the video game. No doubt that racism dropped by at least 30% when this brilliant tactic was in I, I can't. This is incredibly fucking stupid. I just don't get the point of doing this. I really don't. And I just want to say before we carry on, this isn't an anti-Black Lives Matter video. And at the same time, this isn't a pro-Black Lives Matter video. I mean, Really making fun of the platform they're using to push out these ideologies because it is incredibly ridiculous. As I was discussing before, the first step they took to combat racism is to remove police vehicles from the game. What the hell is that going to do? Absolutely nothing. It's pointless. Who, who does that benefit? I see all these companies like Epic Games saying, you know, this is bad, we don't, we stand against racism and all this shit, but you know, they're not really doing anything to make a change. Either shut the hell up or do something about it because when you're somewhere in the middle, it becomes virtue signaling. The people who are out protesting are actually making a change. What they're doing actually has an impact. This right here just screams, look, we care about black lives. We're joining in the trend. We're not actually gonna do anything about it or make some sort of impact, but you'd buy our product. But it didn't stop there. As I said before, this is a, a three-step program to end racism. First step, didn't really do shit, surprisingly. So what about the second step? Well, in the beginning of July, Epic Games put in a video panel for people to view so they can listen to people talk about racial issues. And at the same time, someone thought that it'd be a great idea to put a tomato machine right next to the video panel. Now, what the fuck do you think people did with those tomatoes? Did they either A, eat it, B, named it Bob so it can blab about Christianity, or C, chuck those fuckers at the video panel. If you guess C, congrats, you know how kids operate. Did you really think kids wouldn't take this opportunity to hurl a bunch of tomatoes at the video screen? Kids go on Fortnite to play Battle Royale, not to hear a bunch of adults blab about issues they probably don't even understand or even care about. If your intent is to make kids more aware, then maybe do it on a platform that's at least respectable. Or at least on a platform that actually has a correlation with racial issues or issues in general. I still fail to see the connection between Black Lives Matter and Fortnite. And I get it, Epic Games has a big platform, they can speak on different issues, but you still have to take into account the audience and the content within your platform. But it didn't stop there. They continue to enforce this political discussion no kid wants to listen to. But this time, instead of just talking about the movement, they're tackling voter suppression to be able to cast a vote and make a decision about the people that have controls over our lives so i mean if, if you if you in your own community need a reason mm -hmm. to vote look at a person like george floyd if the people in your city are not open to police reform are not open to having the conversation about defunding the police are not open to issues concerning economic equality judicial equality and racial equality right if they're scared to say black lives matter you have the power to put people in those positions who do believe that black lives matter who do believe in racial equality economic equality judicial equality That's right, right? That's right. who see us as human beings epic games you do realize that this right here is your audience <laughs> They're not even old enough to vote. So why are you talking about voter suppression to them? It's fine you want to open up this discussion, but maybe do it towards people who actually have the power to make change. You know, adults. For some strange reason, I don't see Fortnite kids becoming the next warriors to fight against racial inequality. I think the only thing on their mind are new skins and V-Bucks. What's really funny though is that these journalists are trying to make these kids look like racist because they were throwing tomatoes at the video panel. The reason they were doing this is because they don't care. 
They don't want to see this in their game. They just want to play the game. I don't care what political topics or political stances they showcase. I think it's very pathetic and sad they have to put this in a kid's game to get their point across. Especially when the CEO of Epic Games states, there's no reason to drag divisive topics like that into gaming. And I agree with that statement. But it seems to me he doesn't believe in his own words.